All right, so in this video, we're gonna move all of our commands into their own separate file. We need to actually modify or change prefix command a little bit because right now, what we're doing is we are updating the prefix inside the message event, but we need to update the prefix in its own command file. And like I was saying in the last two videos, where when we need to update values that are in different files, we need to use our state manager to emit events whenever something happens. Because right now, if we were to move this to its own file, it would not work. Okay, and I'll show you in just one sec. But first, let's, uh, we don't really need this help command. I'll just get rid of it. Uh, so I'll just get rid of that. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And let's create a new file called change prefix.js. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we are going to go ahead and create our own class. So we're going to do module.exports equal class. We're going to call it change prefix command extends base command. We're going to have to import that in just one sec. Const base command equals require. That's going to go in. That's going to be inside. I think utils structures base command. Perfect. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and just implement the constructor and we're going to go ahead and call the super class constructor. And the name of this command is going to be, we'll do ch prefix for short. Uh, we'll also do category will be, I guess, owner. I mean, technically this should be an owner command. So aliases, we'll leave it alone. Okay. And now let's just implement our logic. So run clients message args okay so now we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all this code we're just gonna get, get, grab that one sec okay and we're gonna give this awesome so now our message.js file is clean we're gonna move into our change prefix.js file and we can see that we need to update a couple things because this won't work. Right? We're trying to reference this dot connection when this dot connection is not even defined. So we got to import state manager. And that's and I think utils state manager. And we're going to go ahead and do this dot connection equals state manager dot connection. I could probably just do can I don't think you yeah, know I state manager dot connection. I thought all I could do object to structuring, but I don't think I can. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Don't think that would work out for me, though. Yeah, you can't do that. I don't think, at least I don't think you can. I'm trying to discover new things. Okay, so now this dot connection will work. Uh, oh, async. Okay, so now we have to declare our guild command prefixes map this is very important okay because right now if we run this command it will work okay it will update the entire prefix but here's the thing it will update on the database but in our message.js file guild command prefixes will not be updated okay because what's happening is if i were to execute this command we will be calling the database and we will be changing the prefix on the database. Let me log into my database. And if I show you guys the guild configurable table, okay, right now our prefix is question mark. If I do run the command right now, okay, it will work. So let's do siege prefix. Let's change it to exclamation mark. Okay, so right now, if I try to select my table, you can see that it is updated, but here's the problem. Okay, if I try to use that prefix, is not going to work and you're probably wondering well why is that not working because remember inside the message event we have guild command prefixes it's still the same old prefix that we initially cached okay because we're updating it inside change prefix we need to update it as well inside message.js and the way we're going to do that is whenever we update the prefix if it's successful we're going to emit an event and we're going to call it prefix update and we're going to pass in the guild id so we're going to pass in message guild 
dot id and we're going to pass a new prefix that they the new prefix that they updated to and now inside message.js we're going to reference state manager and we're going to listen to the uh, prefix update event okay and let's go ahead and pass on a callback function because remember these two values that we're passing in are going to be inside the callback function after this event is emitted this callback function handles the event when it's emitted so what we want to do is if I console log this you're gonna see that this event is going to be emitted okay so Right now, our prefix is, in fact, exclamation mark, but it just didn't update in the map. Okay, but now, if I do change prefix, I'm going to change it to a caret symbol. It's going to update, but notice how over here, it logs our guild ID, and it logs the command prefix that we changed it to for the guild. See how that works? We're inside the change prefix.js file. Whenever we update the command prefix, if it's successful, we're going to emit the prefix update event and we're going to pass in the guild ID as well as the new prefix. We need these two values passed in because when we listen to the event, we need to use those values to update the map. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reference guild command prefixes. We're going to set guild ID and we're going to set it to the new prefix. So that should set the prefix. Okay. And I can even do a console log, just say guild prefix updated. Okay. So let's go into our table. Let's go back into our table. You can see that our command prefix was updated, but now this time it's going to update both on the database as well as our cache, our map. Okay. That's very important. So if I do caret change prefix to let's do percent sign. It updated okay if I select the table it updated on database and now it was updated on the map okay if I try to use my old prefix again it's not gonna work right we have to use the percent sign because that's what we changed it to that's what we changed our command prefix to see how it updates the guild prefix guild prefix updated there you go we have the updated prefix isn't that pretty cool so the idea is we have this and so the idea is if it hasn't made sense up until now maybe it will make sense now but the whole point of the state manager is to emit events whenever something happens in our commands because something might happen in a command that might need another command to do okay and when we get to the music tutorial of this whole series it'll make so much more sense on why we actually need the event emitter because when we have our own individual command files there really isn't any state if something happens in one file we have no idea what happens in the other file and the other file won't know what happened in that particular command file in order for us to update the state update the values of certain things we use an event emitter we fire the event and we listen to that event in the command file that needs to listen to those events so hopefully that makes some sense okay i know it is a little bit crazy and like i said the reason why we have to and the reason why we have to listen to this event in message.js because this is where we're checking the commands. So we have to update the state of message.js, the guild command prefixes. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We, we can actually get rid of this line over here because we don't actually need to set anything inside change prefix because these commands, or at least this command itself, doesn't really it doesn't really matter if we have the guild command prefix in map because what we're our primary check is inside the message.js file. So we actually don't even need the guild command prefix. So I apologize. You can get rid of that. But uh yeah so like I said let's save it again. Let's do this one more time. So our prefix right now is a dollar sign. So if I do dollar sign help or I don't think I have a command called help. I do have a command called info that should trigger the info command. Okay. If I do change prefix to change prefix to let's try a, you know, three letter prefix. Let's do. Okay. And if I try to do my old prefix, like I said, it's not going to work. But if I do uh, info, it's going to say info was invoked. And you can see that the events were being fired. And if I select that, you can see my command prefix is dollar, dollar, dollar sign or triple dollar sign.
So yeah, I really hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, just please leave a comment down below or join my Discord server. I'll be happy to explain everything in depth. But yeah, like I said, the whole point of everything is to emit events across multiple files to update certain values in our other file. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.